Hi guys. Um, okay. Um, I'm gonna try to tackle soaps in the 80s and the early 90s, um, storylines and stuff like that. Um, I'm only gonna focus on a couple of things because to me, okay, soaps use storylines to move the scenes along and they do certain storylines and certain storylines stick in your mind and others they stick in your mind for a, a minute but not as long um so i'm gonna try to tackle a couple um i'm not gonna get political i'm not gonna get like really really into the deep stuff all right so here we go all right i'm talking about the 1980s first. Um, I'm sure everybody knows by now that Luke and Laura were were the best couple on GH. I mean, the hottest couple. Everyone knew about it and whatever. And yes, I know now that it started off in a bad way. But I'm talking about the popularity and the way it burst on the scene. And everybody knew about it, and everybody was watching it, and it was considered appointment television unless you had a VCR and could tape it. Um, there are stories that even people in college in those days would schedule their classes around so they could watch soap operas and the, the wedding and different events and stuff like that. Um, okay. Also, I have to say, Robin Scorpio. Um, Anna and, and, uh, Robert Scorpio had Robin. Um, which is, Anna was Penelope Hughes, and Trist, er, and Scorpio, Robert Scorpio was Tristan Rogers back in the day. Um, the only reason I know about it is because, like I said, again, it was a huge storyline. They went on the run a lot, but they were always together, but they wanted to take their daughter Robin with them, and they couldn't always do it, so they had to leave her with, um, Mac, Mac, her uncle Mac, which is played by the, uh, the wonderful... I was going to say lovely, but I meant lovely as far as personality, John J. York. Now, I know I've mentioned this before, but if you haven't seen it on State of Mind with Maurice Bernard, you have to check out his episode, John J. York. Um, all right. The reason why Robin is pivotal is because of two storylines. In one. All right. Around 1995, sometime in 1995, I don't know the exact date. Uh, the storyline of Stone and Robin came to be because Stone Cakes had AIDS. And because Robin and Stone were in a relationship for a couple of years, they slept together. So Robin was HIV infected. The reason why it was a huge storyline was because Robin was the darling girl of General Hospital and fans couldn't fathom that they would do a storyline that would like that with her. But now, for as long as 1995, she's been the key member of the AIDS awareness. The Nurses Ball, AIDS Awareness in December um, time, and so that's why it's a huge storyline. Also, it kept on being a storyline because she then had a baby. She got married to Patrick Drake, Noah Drake's son, which Noah Drake, if everybody doesn't know, is Rick Springfield of Jesse Girls, Jesse's 
girl thing. I wish I had just this girl. He's the one that wrote that and sung it, and he was a huge star. And yeah. Okay. And side note, kind of, if you don't know, um, Patrick Drake was played by Jason Thompson, which is now Billy Abbott on YNR. Okay. All right. So those were huge storylines. Um, okay, going over to One Life to Live a little bit. Now, Vicki Lord Davidson and a bunch of names because she was married a lot. Okay? Was played by the Amer amazing Erica Slazak. Alright. The reason why the story is huge is because they were the first soap, I think, to cover DID, which is Dissociative Identity Disorder, also known as Multiple Personality Disorder, back in the day before they renamed it DID. All right. Now, they played it in a kind of comical fashion, but it's a true disease and a true disorder that only happens if you had sexual abuse, repeated sexual abuse in your childhood. And the reason why I know about it is because um, I read the book when Robert, when Robert Howells by uh, Trudy Chase. Now, I promoted this book before, but it's, it's great. Well, it's great and it's not great because... It's not great because she knew about it, but it's great because it's informative. Um, yeah, but other than that, I did not know about DID. Um, okay. So the reason why th that story is huge is because, once again, they took a main character and put her in this huge storyline. And also, coincidentally... They made um, Jessica, her daughter, played by Aaron Torpy, and then Bree Williamson, and then she was played by at least three people, two or three people at different times. Um, but they wrote the storyline because they gave Jessica DID because Jessica turned into Tess. It was Jess and Tess. Now, Jess was the normal character. Tess was her wild side. Um, so, you know. Um, okay. And then Jessica got with, um, the character of, uh, uh, played by Forbes March. And, yes, that is his real name. He did an interview, and they asked him, is that your real name? Yes, it's his real name. Forbes March. Um, so anyway, they got together in, in the show and, you know, they wrote off, they kind of wrote off into the sunset because it was her, her main love or whatever. Um, okay. But talking about major storylines. All right. Now jumping to the storylines of soaps that are happening today. Although, General Hospital is still in the air, but to be honest, I don't really watch it anymore because I know some of the characters, yes, but I don't know all the characters. So it would be a disservice for me to talk about it because I don't know all the characters anymore. Um, alright. Why not? Um, I don't know if they did anything controversial back in the day. Not that I'm aware of. Um... Because, in my opinion, now this is just my opinion, don't beat me up. They're, they played it safe a lot. Um, which, I guess, I don't know. I guess I can appreciate, but in some ways I wish they would like push the envelope. But push the envelope before now. I mean, yeah, now they got... A gay couple, and another gay couple, another gay character, 
but it took um 20 years or something to get here so um and and now they they took they tackle social issues more than they did before um so i have to give them credit for that um okay b and b um they they tackle stuff only they tackle it right now and I, I think they've always been that way i think that the title for the show bold and beautiful is true because it's a bold show and they do stuff that no one else do so i appreciate them um like uh they have a storyline everyone i think if you're a b and b watcher you know about hope's baby and stuff and the way that thomas Matt Atkinson had a break, a mental break and stuff. So they tackled mental illness and mental issues and stuff. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate everything they do. Um, they tackle other stuff also. They don't just tackle that. That was one example, but they tackle a lot. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I, I didn't want to talk about the soaps today. I want to talk about the soaps back then because I think that people need to highlight it because if you don't go back in history, um, not only you're deemed to repeat it, but like if you don't go back in history, then you don't remember the moments that made the moments today. So I think you got to go back every once in a while. And also, in my opinion, <laughs> the, the music was great back in the 80s and stuff. So that's what made me think of it. Because I want to tackle other stuff and like talk about different decades and not just stick about 2023. Um, so thank you for watching. I appreciate all the likes, all the views. Um, I really appreciate it. Like I said before, I love doing this. So thank you.